What is up, guys? So this is Dave Jackson Jackson coming at you live, and okay, real quick, I'm gonna get comfy because I'm kind of sore right now. But like, it, I worked out. Basically, here's what happened. So on Thursday, I worked out my triceps, uh, a little bit of my biceps. I did my chest, my shoulders, and my lats. I worked all four of those out on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. And so I'm like really, really sore now. But anyways, I'm gonna get comfy and then I'll tell you guys what I'm, what this topic is about. So, all right. So I just recently read on my Google Plus that someone shared my video about pacemakers, elderly, and exercising, and my story. Um. So let me just tell you guys a little bit about what happened to me. All right. In 2008, I had a. I'm a. I'm going to say I had a chain of events that led up to me having a pacemaker. Now, I don't know if this is exactly what led up to it, but here's what happened. So, I was in high school at the time, and it was my freshman year in high school. Um, and it was during baseball season. Well, it was a Tuesday. I was walking into my, my woodshop class, so it was second period, and... I kid you not, this is everything that led up to what I think is what happened to me getting my pacemaker. But, here's what happened. So, I went into my woodshop class, and all there was no chairs on any of the other tables. So, all the chairs were at this one table. Now, there's at least five people at this table, and there's a little, about maybe 20, 22 chairs at the table. Well... Keep in mind, I'm one person, I'm not a trouble starter. I don't like fighting with people, I don't like arguing with people, but these guys, they like to fight. So, I went to go ask for a chair, because there weren't any other chairs at any of the other tables. I went to go get one, and they told me that they weren't, that they weren't using them. I went to get one, and they put their feet on all the chairs. So, I just left. And then throughout the whole class, he, one guy was deadly talking to me, so, telling me he was going to do this and that to me, and yeah. Well, eventually I got up and went to go get one of the chairs, and they kicked it at me. Well, it hit me in the legs, so I was like, you know, whatever, I don't want a chair. So I went and just went and got my stuff out of the little supply closet, started working on my project. Now... Typically, you won't see a pacemaker in, like, kids my age. I was 14 at the time when I got mine. When I set, well, when I was told that I had to have mine, and when I got mine. I'm 20 now, so. Here's what happened. So, after I put my woodshop stuff away, I got jumped in class. And it had to be the most, single most messed up thing ever. Because they waited until after class to actually do anything. So... Yeah, I was inside of our closet, I was just trying to put my stuff away. I went to leave the closet, or leave the leave the little supply closet, and then they go and push me right back in there, and then start swinging at me. But, I'm not really ashamed of it, because, uh, like, I, to this day, though I do want to press charges against the guy that started it, it's not, I'm not a violent person. I can't ever be violent. But, I did suffer, or I won't say suffer, I did sustain some injuries, and part of my, the bomb, the bomb half of my heart did stop working, um, but after that, like I had baseball practice, or I had a baseball game after that, well, that same day, I actually got, I got put on probation, on school probation, and, and I'm not gonna say that, it wasn't fair. It actually wasn't fair. And, well, after that, I, I had another baseball game the next day. Well, that next day, I actually ended up getting rushed to the hospital because I passed. Well, I'm not, not going to say passed out. or just blacked out um, in left field. I caught a pop fly, threw it in, got two outs, but passed out, blacked out, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it. Anyways... I blame that for having my pacemaker. So, 
to all the elderly people out there, I'm I'm gonna say you kinda got lucky you dodged a bullet in your younger years. I got mine when I was fourteen. And I got in an unfair and untimely manner. But anyways, now on to now. I'm a bodybuilder. Um I won't say I'm like that Egyptian bodybuilder with the really big arms. I think it's like 33 inch arms or whatever. But all those people who use synthanol and stuff like that, I'll tell you right now, you're wasting your time because it's not, it doesn't matter how big your arms are or how elite you want to think you're, you are. Basically, you're putting oil into your arms. So what that will do later on in life is you'll have more problems than you can ever imagine. But, but beside that, so all the elderly people out there, Here's what I want to talk about, and let you guys know, you don't have to skip exercising or trying to get into good health through having a, or not, through thinking that you, you can't exercise with a pacemaker. Doctors can tell you that, oh, it's wrong to, it's, you shouldn't lift your arms over your head. You shouldn't, you should stay away from microwaves and all that, because they'll fry your pacemaker or, or the equivalent of a pacemaker's battery. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that what if I told you it it's not exactly like that. How they think it happens and what really happens, that's two different things. You have to see it to know what it is. So I'll tell you right now, with a cell phone, this is, this is my cell phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy Exhibit. Um, I can talk with my cell phone on the the side that my pacemaker is on. Now your heart is on the left side of your body. What I don't understand is when they say put your hand, right hand over your heart. People go like this. Over the, the middle of their chest. Well your heart is right here on the left side of your body. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Now I'm going to use me as a model. And I'm not really, I don't look all that great or whatever, you know. So. I'm going to use me as a model and just show you guys it. So here's my pacemaker. Here's what it looks like. And it's in there. Now, a lot of people, and they will tell you this. If you have devices like that, you guys want to see my baby? Look at this. Look at this. This is a baby right here. She's like almost four. <laughs> Anyways, if you have a pacemaker, you can exercise, you can exercise, and you can work out. Though you are limited to some of the things you can do, you can still work out. There's nothing stopping you. Now, for the last three years of the almost six years that I've had my pacemaker, I've been a bodybuilding, and I'm gonna tell you this right now. Like, I've built up a pretty big chest, pretty nice sized chest, for having a pacemaker. I'm, though I'm not running, I, honestly, I, excuse me, I used to do pacemaker. I mean, I used to do cross country, and track, and football, and all that. Well, I was restricted to all those because. Yeah, track, baseball, well not track, but baseball, football, those are contact sports. It's understandable. Track and cross country. I can't do those because running makes my chest hurt really bad. Now, it's hard to under, it's hard for people who don't have a pacemaker to understand this, but I'm going to break it down for you right now. So, when you run, you get a... I want to say you you do, but that's not for those people who have a pacemaker. You know exactly what I mean when I say it hurts. We have chest pains. It hurts. It does hurt. And for the people who don't have anything like that on virtual on the outside, visible on the inside, it does hurt. Now there's a whole difference between what you can do and what you can't do. Here's the difference. You can go near a microwave. You can use your phone. You, 
you can use electric tool and power tool. What you cannot do is let's take something I don't know. Um Yeah no. If you okay, I want you guys to do this for me and give me a list of all the stuff that you haven't been able to do with a pacemaker or the equivalent machinery of a pacemaker. Give me a list of all the things that you haven't been able to do. I'll give you a list of all the things after you've commented down below of all the stuff that I can't do. And you'll see it. I mean, there's not very much of a difference between what you can and can't do. But exercise wise, put your hands up over your head. Because the pacemaker, they give you room for it to grow. They give you room for you to grow if you need that type of room. Um, though I can't do as much, like, my goal was to be 200 pounds, but I can't go that big. I want to, and then I truly want to, but I can't. So, yeah. Now, all the older people, all the elderly people, people who are... I don't know, 40 plus, 50 plus. This is for you. This section is for you. When you exercise, you don't have to do like these gigantic compound movements like shoulder presses or bicep curls. I mean, you can do bicep curls because you have arms. Your arms aren't affecting your chest unless you're going like this doing crossovers or bench press or all that. I'll show you guys right now what I'm gonna, what I mean by that. I have a door gym right there. And, that, it's a new one because my old one, one of my dogs actually chewed through the ropes of it. So, here's what you can do. And this won't hurt you as much as bench pressing will. Those are called chest flies, or chest fly crossovers. You can do those, because what you're doing, you're just shaping your body parts. That's all you're doing. A lot of people think that the exercises you do, they have to be compound. They have to be, like, boom, boom, boom. They have to be like that. But they don't have to be like that. Now, I guess when it comes to food, you, there's no real no real way to put this. It doesn't matter what you eat, but you have to watch what you eat, though. Like, spicy foods, um, I know that has nothing to do with it, but spicy foods, because I think in a sense, if you love spicy food, you might have to stop eating as much, because when you eat spicy food, it kind of affects how, how the insides work. Well... I don't know how exactly a pacemaker would be affected by spicy food, but I stopped eating spicy food because I, in my mind, I kind of get, got an idea that it's probably going to mess up, it, like, the, the chemicals within spicy food, like, say you have, um, really hot stuff, like, over, over the top, you blow your brain out kind of hot stuff. I think that'll affect how your heart either rate pulses or how it pumps or whatever I think that's how it'll affect it just a little bit um and it might even short out your machine but I'm not sure so if you if you think it will comment down below too and let me know and yeah now another thing you can do if you if you're that kind of active person that likes to like at least exercise, like do jumping jacks and all that. You can do those, but you have to be careful how you swing your arms, because it'll probably make, like, your muscles and your chest move. Um, 
And it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm not saying it's a good thing either, but some people get weirded out by how it feels. So yeah. That's that's part of it. I mean, I'm gonna cut this video short because I'm kinda short on time. But I'm gonna make another video in like two minutes on more parts of this. So it's it's a little bit scientific. Um let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Because I've got a couple of questions from people who have a qu the equivalent of a pacemaker. And they get confused about some of the things that they can and can't do. So, let me know what you guys think about it. All the elderly people that watch, that want to, at least want to know about theirs. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.